Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars, welcome to another PlayStation 4 review. Today's review is for Circuit Superstars, the top-down isometric arcade racer that has just been released on the PlayStation Store. Now, I'm not, I'll be honest, per perfectly honest here, I'm not a massive racing fan when it comes to games. I used to play them a lot when I was younger, I used to play Gran Turismo specifically. Played all them games when I was younger and I really, really enjoyed them. So I do have some history with racing games, generally speaking. And I used to play a lot of the F1 games with my brother over the years. But these last few years, I don't tend to play an awful lot of racing games. Um, I quite like it when there's like racing games within other games. Like, you know, you've got your GTA 5s and all this kind of stuff. But I won't purposely pick a racing game. However, when I saw this one in the store, I thought this looked like like the old Codemasters type games that we used to play years ago, uh, like the racing games. Really fun, arcade type racing games. And it was very, very cheap. Only $15.99 in a PlayStation store. And it, I thought I'd take a little bit of punt on, a bit of a punt on this one because um, I was looking for something a little bit different and a little bit fun to play. I have to say, racing fans, if you're looking for exactly that, a racing game that is a little bit different, um, you could be in for a little bit of a surprise here. Now, this is in no way what you would class as like a AAA quality game. You know, uh, it can't compete with those sort of games at all. But what we do get here is quite a game that's packed full of a few stuff. You get quite a few modes here um, in the game. You've got things like Grand Prix. Now, in the Grand Prix mode itself, you've got 12 different levels in this Grand Prix. And each level is like a different racing series with different vehicles. Some of them being small, uh, like Fiat cars, even though they're not obviously the official cars. Then it goes up to like uh, muscle cars and you've got F1 cars, you've got trucks, you've got rally cars. A whole range of different vehicles to try out in these Grand Prix, and each of the Grand Prix has like four different races, um, and you earn points depending on where you finish in the race. And at the end of the series, hopefully, you will win that series. Um, some of the races, um, uh, the majority of them are five laps, but some of them go on for longer, ten, sometimes twelve laps. And in those races, generally speaking, you have to manage your damage and your fuel and take a pit stop as and when you see it appropriate um, so they're, they're quite different races with lots of different cars and the, to be honest it's a really really fun mode and it will take up an awful lot of your time because if you really do get into this mode there are like i say loads of different races to do and there's loads of different di levels to do so you can start at like easy like amateur professional pro all this kind of stuff to make the game more and more difficult now you could probably be able to tell from some of the footage that i'm showing i'm quite a bit rusty when it comes to playing racing games so i have to say even on the lowest difficulty which i always try with generally new games um i found this quite challenging to master in regards to the handling and strangely the the ones that i found easier to handle were the rally cars and the trucks on the track the rest of them um is a little bit more of a challenge to master these cars on this track especially when you're racing against other vehicles um, but there's quite a lot of fun here and i've had a lot of fun playing on the grand prix mode it's my favorite mode certainly now some of the other modes that you've got on here um well you've got things like um you've got like an online uh, online mode and i'll be honest I can't find anyone to play with. Uh, I've tried a number of times to play some online uh, modes and I, I, I just, it's just not finding anybody. So obviously the player base for this is very, very poor indeed. As you can see there, it just keeps kicking me back to the main menu. Um, you've got free play where you can kind of play with any car on any track, or, uh, as many laps as you want, so on and so forth. You've got practice mode, really good mode to getting used to the handling of the vehicle. Um, and then you've got as well um, the Top Gear time attack. So if you remember the Top Gear track, and now I don't watch the new Top Gear, but I'm presuming they still use the same track as they used to when Clarkson, Hammond and May was there. Um, 
it's like there is a recreation of the Top Gear track, and you can go around and try and like um, get your best time, uh, either your own personal best or compete with people against the world in regards to the best um, times that have been put around the world. So there's quite a few modes here to get into and enjoy, if I'm being honest, and you will pump quite a bit of time into it if this is your sort of thing. If you like pretty fun, cool um, arcade racing games, then you will. Uh, put quite a lot of time into this game now in regards to how the game looks i actually think it looks quite pretty um occasionally i think it looks quite basic a lot of a lot of the tracks look very very similar and even though there is a decent variety of tracks in regards to um different races they kind of use reuse a lot of the tracks to just kind of reverse them or they'll use some of the tracks and just add like dirt sections to it for the rally sections of the racing um, so there's not a massive amount of variety here in regards to the tracks and how they look but there's enough to give it some kind of variety uh, in regards to the tracks but I actually think the game does look quite pretty and quite distinctive in regards to sound all you're going to get here is like some really beaty classic arcade type music nothing to write home about at all there is a leveling up system in the game um, essentially when you finish a race even if you come last you will kind of get something added to your level um, and each time you level up you will unlock new customizable options for your vehicles and your driver so you can change like the color of your vehicle and your driver's suit and helmet things like that nothing major and nothing special now in regards to what why would i recommend this game really well it's cheap uh, it's fairly cheap if you're into racing games. It is very, very, and I can't stress this enough, very, very addictive to play. I've had a lot of fun playing it. can be quite frustrating, but racing games are all about that, really. I have sworn at the screen more than once playing the game. And it's quite smooth, the racing. In regards to weaknesses, well, online, if you really want to play this and really want to play this online with, you, with, with other people, I think you're going to struggle. Um, I know it's early days, it's only just been released, so there might be more of a player base develop. Um, all the vehicles, all the cars, trucks, they all kind of feel similar. Um, they do. Some of them do handle slightly differently, but a lot of them do kind of feel quite, quite similar. But it is quite smooth. Um, and despite all that, I think probably even veteran racing fans may tire of this game fairly quickly. But it is a fun game. I've had a fun time playing it. So I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. I think it's a nice pick up and play type arcade racing game. But it's nothing that you're ever going to really um, uh, put so much time into. It's never going to top, you know, the Forza, Forza Horizons or the Gran Turismo's. But it's not meant to. It's just meant to be a small little arcade game that you can have a little bit of fun with. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you found it useful. I'll be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.